Hello. So today I'm going to do an Alice in Wonderland inspired piece. Uh, it's going to be a keyhole with a galaxy in the middle of it and then an ornate surrounding um, that I'm going to draw in with ink afterwards. So materials wise, I've got my brushes here ready. I've got my number four, um, my triple zero and my number nine. The number four and the number nine are for doing the sort of galaxy washes itself. And then I keep my triple zero for doing the stars, which I find is really nice to have that very fine um, brush to get some details in there. Um, I've got my Winsor & Newton watercolours here in my palette as well. I've got um, Payne's Grey and Indigo, some Ultramarine, Thalo Turquoise and some Cerulean and I will probably add in some purple as well. I tend to go for Payne's Grey rather than black um, because I feel like it I feel like black can sometimes tend to suck some of the colour out whereas Payne's Grey will add some depth to it so that's why I tend to go for Payne's Grey rather than black. I've also got my white ink here which is what I'm going to use for the stars afterwards and then something different usually I would use a pigment liner but today I thought I'd give um, give it a go with actually drawing in Indian ink with my calligraphy pen so I've got my calligraphy pen here um, with a really flexible nib and I'm going to use this black Indian ink as well uh, and then of course I've got my trusty putty rubber to rub out my sketch afterwards so I've got my inspiration here that I found on Pinterest um, I use Pinterest for pretty much all of my inspiration um, so give me a follow there if you want to see uh, what kind of things inspire me I've got a lot of things on architecture florals um, lots of other things I also do quite a lot of jewelry painting as well so I, I tend to pin quite a lot of that stuff so give me a follow over there um, I'm just there as my normal name at the moment uh, which is Claudette Wilkins um, so give me a follow if you fancy seeing what other things inspire me so I'm gonna go straight in and do my sketch now um, before adding the details to it afterwards I've got my photograph that I'm working from here um, and I'm just going to start by sketching out I'm going to start by sketching out the keyhole first and then I'm going to add in the detail around afterwards so I'm going to keep it quite loose because I want that sort of illustrative style I don't want it to be too perfect so I've got my keyhole which is going to form the basis of where I'm going to add my galaxy afterwards and then I'm going to add the details around now um, which I will be inking in then once I've done all the painting So I've finished drawing my initial sketch now and you can see that what I've drawn is not exactly the same as where I've drawn my inspiration from but that doesn't matter it's just there for inspiration to give you an idea um, of where to go from and then you'll find that as soon as you start drawing or at least I always find that as soon as I start drawing it tends to just flow. So you can see that I've put some sort of little detailed lines here and there because that's where I want to remind myself I want to do some inking in afterwards to add those details in um, and do these sort of lines all the way around. So that's why they are there. I've done it really lightly so that in case I paint over those pencil lines, um, it's very difficult to rub out pencil lines after you've watercolored. So I've done them very lightly. So hopefully if I do paint over them, they won't be too visible afterwards. So I'm gonna go in now and do my galaxy um, and the paintbrushes I'm going to primarily be using for the background are these two, the number four and the number nine that we said about earlier. Um, so I'm going to go in ahead and do that now um, and speed it up so that you can watch it.
so this is all dry so now I'm going to go in and add the stars to the galaxy uh, the reason I'm going to do the stars first rather than inking in the black on the way around is because I think the white will dry quicker than the black and I think it will be easier for me to finish it quicker so I'm going to add some stars by putting, doing some spatter um, and I'm going to use a little bit of white gouache for this it's not something that I normally do I tend to add it in um, individually but I quite like the effect and it's a little bit more organic the thing that you have to be careful about is making sure that your spatter goes in the direction you want to so I find that if I tap the paintbrush rather than tapping the paintbrush on my pencil I can control it just a little bit better and it gives a slightly finer dusting of white stars which I'm then going to go in and add more stars to to bring out that detail in a minute. So now I'm going to finish off the stars with my white ink um, and I'm going to use my triple zero brush to do this so that I get some really fine details in there um, and the combination of adding the individual stars with the spatter gives a real intense starry galaxy which is what I'm looking for today. So I've added all of my stars now to my galaxy with my white ink um, and now I'm going to go in with my black ink and also my calligraphy pen to add the detail around the outside of the ornate lock. So I finished adding in all of the details now to my lock um, and I really like the difference between using the calligraphy pen and ink to my normal pigment liner. 
you do end up rather covered in ink but that's one of the nice things about using pen and ink is getting it all over you um, the only thing that I would say is when you are working, if you're right handed try and work from the top left down to the bottom right and obviously if you're left handed then work from top left down to, uh, top right down to bottom left just so that you don't end up smudging your work. Um, I think if, it, if you do calligraphy um, normally then it's something that you're used to sort of managing the wet ink that you're working around but it's worth bearing in mind that actually the Indian ink, if you do decide to use that, does take quite a bit longer to dry than normal pigment liner. So do give it a go, um, and if you do, then tag me. Um, I would love to see what you produce. Um, and if you've got any questions, then either shoot me a DM or ask me in the comments. Can't wait to see what you do, and thank you for watching.